Aquarius. This is, oh, this card jumped out, but this is not the order I'm going to use the cards and I didn't call it. So I'm going to put it back, but wow, Aquarius. Hopefully that's an indicator of the energy to come. Yeah, because I use those to clarify with. I use the, but then again, no, because I'm like, Aquarius, they rebel. They do their own thing, right? So maybe switch, but no, I'm going to do it this way. Aquarius, this is uh, your reading for June 2024. It is Gemini season. Happy Pride to everyone celebrating. Whenever you come across this reading is probably when you need the message. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is for um, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, all right? All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh. Emperor card flew out first. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun. Ooh. Tower. Double Mars energy straight up. Ooh. Aquarius, you are on fire because we did. We have the sun card show itself, and that's more fire energy. That's Leo, very masculine. Ooh, Ace of Cups. One more card for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. It was peeking, it didn't fly out. Thank God, I don't like the Knight of Pentacles is like my least favorite card in the deck. I feel like it's just so boring. Two cards came out, but I'm going to keep it. The Five of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles creates the Six of Pentacles, which is the bottom of the deck of the other, of the other cards. So I think that's significant. And we also had two cards come out for Capricorn, and I kept it so. But nice, two Aces, even though it's the Five of Pentacles, it's two Aces as well. I know that's right. Aquarius. All right. So you have the Emperor, the Tower, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles starting out. Uh, definitely big Mars energy, big new beginnings energy. We do have the Gemini New Moon coming up this week. So for some of you, um, Aquarius, it's a new job. Congratulations. For some of you, it's a promotion to boss. It's a promotion in general. Congratulations if that's you. For some of you, you have been fired. They gave you no notice and they just put you out, okay? It could be someone that, um, again, it could be an employer. It could be a boss, manager, someone that has fired you or promoted or demoted you. So now you're at square one. You're at back at the new beginning, hence the double aces, okay? So for some of you, it is regarding a, a Scorpio or Aries where they have um, just knocked you down in a sense. They've taken you out of the st stability because the tower is on fire, right? Something happens to where it catches on fire and now these people have no choice but to get out, okay? So this could be an eviction for some of you. This could be um, like the landlord evicted you is giving me that energy too. For some Aquariuses, it's um, a landlord evict you or just you moving out of your home um, and having a new beginning, planting new roots. For some of you, it's, um, like I said, being promoted to a position or getting fired from your job. Um, for some of you, it could just be a conflict of masculine energies coming to blows. But let's clarify. Emperor. Let's clarify the Emperor card. Emperor is... a um, Aries energy, masculine, fire, cardinal fire, emperor. Let's clarify the emperor. This could also be um, sexual energy as well. Really, um, oh yeah, like I said, it's pride month or whatever. So this could also be like very masculine, like aggressive, sexually aggressive energy as well. Yeah, I'm seeing the walk of shame, too. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups again. Page of Pentacles. Nice. Aw. Okay, Aquarius. Clarifying the Emperor card you have. Ten of Pentacles. 
Earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn, specifically Capricorn, family, legacy, business. Ace of Cups. So, so far you have the Ace of Cups in both decks popping up. So, definitely a new beginning. It could be a new relationship for some of you. But definitely a new emotional beginning, healing, and the page of pentacles, earth energy, more earth energy towards Virgo and Capricorn, okay? So for some of you Aquariuses, it can be um, really getting handling business with an Aries. It could be handling business with the boss of the company, the boss of the family, the boss of the organization, um, the leader, okay? Just really um, connecting to, to build a strong foundation. Um, this could be you assuming the leadership position in your family. This could be you um, joining joining an exclusive club, an exclusive organization, getting an exclusive secretive meeting, secret societies coming to mind as well. But in essence, it's about stability. It's because the emperor, Capricorn, I mean Aquarius, the emperor runs an empire, okay? It is the masculine counterpart to the empress, which is the creator. Um, and so with the Ten of Pentacles, this is just reinforcing that the emperor, the person that's in charge, is going to be financially stable. They are going to be make, thinking long term because the Ten of Pentacles is long term energy. It's not just a quick scam, quick fix you know, getting paid in tips, like quick turnaround. It's, you know, salaried employee. It's a long-term business owner. It's, you know, someone that's been in business for decades, someone that's really put in the time, energy, and work to have the experience and know-how regarding a situation. So Aquarius, for some of you, is just really solidifying, um, you know, the business, the work, but also allowing yourself to, um, to get creative again okay to to dream of new dreams it's like okay i got that squared away that's solid let me focus on what makes me happy what i want to create what i want to build what i want to get better at what i want to become more skilled at and so for some of you aquariuses this could be you um deciding to get into bird watching like turtle does has come to my own turtle does oh so for some of you it's thinking about okay christmas the holiday season is in, in about six months so let me get my eye on my lover like who i'm gonna be with around the holidays and stuff for some of you aquariuses it's um having your eye on um a, someone younger than you it could be in a younger earth sign a younger water sign it could be a younger um air uh, aries but in essence, in essence, deciding to focus on what you love, Aquarius, deciding to focus on stability, creating um, what's going to be long term for you, because you may have had a recent awakening, a recent shaking and shifting of energy that has made you to make not rash decisions, but impulsive decisions. Yeah, you may have. Um, gotten yourself in a situation where you've been forced to make impulsive decisions that have made you uncomfortable that have, may have put you in a position to um to look at life differently to look at your environment your surroundings differently it may have been um a situation where you were fired you were let go from your job where you're no longer the emperor you're no longer the boss for some of you it's having your your power i hear manhood so for some of you your manhood was stripped away for some of you your masculine energy has been wounded for some of you your masculine energy is on a in, on attack okay so this could be um your healthy sense of ego your sense of um ability to produce and to create um stability but let's clarify the tower. Nonetheless, it's going to be a cataclysmic event, like and something happening that serves as a catalyst to start, to start like a domino effect, you know? All right, so clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Back at square one, what I said, the fool. It's the zero card because the very first card in the tarot. The fool, the hanged man, eight of pentacles. Time to get back to work. Yep. So the tower card Aquarius is being clarified by the fool, the hanged man, 
and eight of pentacles eight of pentacles keeps jumping out today i've noticed but yes aquarius these are your three cards that just popped out so when i see these cards clarifying the tower it's giving me the energy of starting back at square one like it was stable but now we're at this new beginning and you appreciate the new beginning because now we've kind of cleared the slate, if you will, you know, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's coming to mind too. So it's like, even though like this ending happened or this shift changed where I'm no longer in authority, I'm no longer in, in a power position to make power moves and power plays. Let's, let's go on this new journey. You know, if I could dream a new dream, what would it be? If I could be a fool in love again, what would it be? Hmm. Let's think about this. Let's, let's, you know, so I feel like you Capricorn, uh, Aquarius, let's take time. I just did Capricorn, but Aquarius, I feel like, um, it could have been a Capricorn that fired you too, but Aquarius, I feel like this is you choosing to look at life in a different way, choosing to shift your perspe perspective on what success looks like for you, choosing to shift your perspective on what a new beginning looks and feels like, um, understanding that to surrender is not necessarily a bad thing, to sacrifice and to lose is not necessarily a bad thing. And Aquarius, I feel like you're one of the best signs that is good with that type of energy, you know, rebelling and, you know, deciding to take your power back into doing what you want to do. So I feel like this is going to be um, a shift in your energy that energizes you, that reminds you to focus, that reminds you to look at your success, success in a different way, to look at your momentum and your movement, or to look at meditation in a different way, to look at solitude in a different way, to look at some type of suspension in a different way. Like, yeah, you know, I do have this period of time where... I'm in this limbo. I'm in this unknown, possibly uncomfortable position. And, you know, while I'm here, I'm going to focus. While I'm in this limbo, this uncomfortable position of not really knowing what's next, not really knowing what my fate, you know, holds for me, it's a blank slate. So I'm just going to start fresh. I'm going to start clear. I'm going to start clean. And we have the Ace of Cups, which is water, energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's the number one of the suits of the decks you know so this is fresh new clean pure um in relation to water it's feelings emotions creative energy it is a life force right so let's clarify this ace of cups it could literally be a new beginning with a water sign new love new friendship new emotional connections new spiritual connections clarify the ace of cups for aquarius Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify Ace of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify Ace of Cups for Aquarius. I see the Six of Wands. Oh. All up in your mind by Beyonce is coming to mind right now. Clarifying the Ace of Cups, we have the Six of Wands, the Star card, and the Eight of Swords, okay? Um, Aquarius, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aquarius specifically that... Um, you're having this new beginning with this could be someone coming to you actually a fire sign coming to you Aquarius somebody uh, with the intention of sex okay Aquarius someone that is very um very confident someone that is very uh confident goal oriented forward direct and I feel like this this person could be energy that liberates you. It could be energy that helps you to see life differently, that helps you to get out of your head, Aquarius. This could be energy that brings you back to life, that you feel nourished, that you feel cared for, that you remember who you are. So I feel that energy coming to you, Aquarius, if, even if it's not sexual based, even if it's not sexual energy, but I just feel like it's you 
having this resurgence of energy that liberates you, this resurgence of energy of freedom, remembering what freedom looks like, remembering what it was like when, if there was a time you were bound or gagged or where you couldn't see, where you felt like you couldn't express yourself, if you feel like, if there was ever a time where you felt like you couldn't express yourself and you were bound, maybe this tower that just happened for you, it, because it's gone, now you can express yourself. So it's kind of like a blessing in disguise, you know, because like, like, especially nowadays, like, even on YouTube, there's certain words you can't say, or some people will get demonetized. And like, you know, with the whole don't say Palestine, don't say child, don't, you know, these specific words that triggering all because of this institution you're in. So it's like breaking free from those institutions, you know, decided to just rough it, you know, like, I'll just start over before I uh, commit to these values, you know. So Aquarius, I feel like you're having this resurgence of just understanding what healing looks like and allowing yourself to move from this space of feeling confused, feeling alone, feeling uh, bound down, you know, and allowing yourself to get into a space or to be in, introduced to an energy that liberates you and frees you up. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles is new beginnings in material wealth, new beginnings in building something, new planting new seeds, planting new intentions. We do have the Gemini New Moon this week, so this would be a great time to start anything regarding communication, writing, producing content. This would be a great week to set those intentions. This is um, also donations, specifically monetary donations. This could be um, also like a golden idea that could manifest into money, you know, like having a bright idea that for a business, creating that business, you know. And then we also have the five of pentacles, which we see that these are two people in tattered clothing, walking in the snow, and they're at the five. You know, the, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the progression. You know, we started at the fool, you know, and the fool, you know, he's in pretty good clothes because he's at the beginning, right? But over time, his clothes are becoming worn because he's on the fool's journey, correct? So even though it is the five of pentacles, Aquarius, it is giving me the energy of progression because the five of pentacles with the one, with the ace equates to the six, six of pentacles energy. OK, and that is um, financial stability, um, physical stability, having security in where you dwell, because these people are walking outside of the church and the church is supposed to be considered a place of refuge, a place of um, solace, peace, you know, uh, and welcoming, you know, but these people are not inside the church. Why is it because they don't want to go in there or has the church not invited them in? So with that five of pentacles is deciding what needs to shift, what needs to pivot when it comes to what I'm, what we're building here, Aquarius. So let's clarify the ace of pentacles and the five of pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. What I see here. Ooh, these two want to jump out. Oh, okay. You had a lot of cards come out, Aquarius, but they're all beautiful. And it's like I said. Even though it's a five of pentacles, I didn't see it as bad energy. Clarifying your ace of pentacles and five of pentacles, Aquarius, we have the king of pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically Taurus energy. But in essence, uh, financial stability, material stability, having your money in order, having the money you need, rich, wealthy, you got the money. The Six of Pentacles. And remember, this is what I was seeing with these two coming out together. It's essentially equating to the Six of Pentacles. So this is where you're moving towards Aquarius. It may be an, an unexpected ending that happens, but it's for your good, okay? And then we also had the Empress card come out. And remember, I was saying how the Emperor this is your first card out. It's the masculine counterpart to the Empress. Well, the Empress is in your, your outcome, so I feel like 
you know, um, that relationship of you or that energy shift of you just really pouring into more of the like con building connection is turning things around because we also have the will of fortune and the temperance. So Aquarius, I feel like you are on the verge of a divine connection with someone that you want to build with someone that you feel like is the equivalent or the opposite of you in regards to like um, compatibility. I feel like this is a connection that's going to come right on time. It may come fast. It may come while you're out partying in a social setting. It could be orchestrated by a Sagittarius specifically. But nonetheless, you you may feel like it's meant to be. It's divine. It could be someone that feels like a soulmate. It could because bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups. Oh, with the magician. So uh, Aquarius, this could be orchestrated by specifically a Sagittarius, or you could just feel like um, the connection came at a divine time, okay? This could also be you planting seeds for a connection so that by the time we get to Sagittarius season, it's fused together, okay? Because that's what, like five, six months from now? So it's like if you want somebody that on your arm by holiday season, Aquarius, uh yeah it's gonna require you to have this new beginning and you never know like you may get fired at one job and then you start working at another position and that's where you meet the love of your life that's where you meet your new friend that's going to help you through this new journey this new phase or that's where you meet the person that gives you confirmation that you're helping them that you're a light and an asset to their life you know so Aquarius this feels good I feel like there's going to be um a big shift regarding um, masculine energy. So that could be your work, your your sexual, your sex drive, your masculinity, your manhood, um, your sense of security. It may be threatened. It may be shaken, which will require you to go on a brand new journey. And along the way, it's going to allow you to, um, to build a greater sense of security and stability because it's you starting from scratch with new intentions, a refreshed perspective and, um, and allowing yourself to be supported along the way. This was beautiful. That was a beautiful reading, Aquarius. Let me know down in the comments if it resonates. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And remember to watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, y'all. And yes, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, Aquarius. <laughs>